Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to generate an Excel file from your Expo React Native app. So first off you're going to run this Expo add command and you're going to import the following lines. So you're going to import from Excel SX, import from Expo file system and import from Expo sharing. I've added this button already that will, when clicked, will call this generate Excel function and inside that we're going to add the code to actually generate our Excel file. So using that XLSX um, package we're going to create a new workbook using the following line and then we're going to go create a new worksheet. So there are a number of ways you can create a new worksheet. Um, but the easiest way is probably just an array of arrays. So that's what AOA stands for. And it's basically just array, uh, the first array is the first row, second array is the second row, third array is the third row, and so on and so forth. And then inside those arrays, each individual element is the column. Your columns don't need to match. Um, inside each array. So you could have maybe three columns in one, two columns in the next, and it'll just start them off from um, cell A1 and, so, and increment those. So I'm going to add some odd and even numbers. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to show you how to calculate those using a formula. But first I'm going to go ahead and show you how to save that uh, workbook. So you're going to want to append the sheet to the workbook by passing in the workbook and worksheet and giving your sheet a name. If you pass in true here, it basically means if there's a name collision on the worksheet name, then it's going to just add one to it, I believe, or whatever the relevant number is to make it not have a collision. So now I'm going to generate the base 64 um, content of my workbook. And to do that, I'm just calling xlsx.write, passing in my workbook and specifying that I want the type to be base 64. Now I'm just going to specify what my file name is going to be and I'm going to use the file system document directory to do that. And I'm just going to call it myxl.xlsx. Now they've got the file name and data. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write this data to that file location. So I'll specify the file name and the data and what encoding type I want. When that's finished saving, then I can basically share that file and that will allow you to save it to whatever file um, app you've got. So if I go sharing.shareasync and just pass in the file name, it's going to give you whatever share options. You might have Excel installed, in which case it will allow you to open Excel in Excel. Um, otherwise, then you can just do save to normal files. So I've got save to files here. When I click that generate button, and once that's gone and done that, oh yeah, so I've got some existing ones just because I was testing this a bit earlier. Um, so ignore that there was already existing files, but yeah, I'll go show you those now. So you can see this one is the one that's generated most recently. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. And it's just going to show you the first worksheet. There's only one worksheet and it'll show you the different table that I've generated here. Note that there's no ta total columns, um, total values, because I haven't specified those yet. You can actually specify that you want a formula. So here I'm saying that I want the type to be a number 
and I want it to be a formula. So F is for formula, and I'm just going to make it A2 plus B2. So basically sum that 1 and 2. Then I'm going to do A3 plus B3. And A4 plus B4. Now if I go and run this and save again. Save to files. Just going to keep both just in case you want to compare later. If I go to that um, latest generated file in my file system, so I'll go home to files and exit out to my most recent one, which is there at 3.36pm. Opening that, if I go look at this, it actually doesn't have that total column set. And the reason for that is that this package doesn't actually do the formula calculation for you. So if I loaded that into an actual app that does handle formula calculations like Excel, it would evaluate and give me the correct value. But if you're, since this is just a files app and it doesn't do that calculation for you, if you want a value to show, you can set a default value using this V. Um, and from there, it will show up. But you've noticed I've put 5 and 6, value 10. That is obviously an incorrect value, and that's why you might choose to use a formula over just calculating the value every time. Obviously, it's a bit easier doing it through code, but you never know mistakes can be made. And if you're generating an Excel file, you might want it to be so that, they can, so that whoever gets the Excel file can edit the formulas anyway. So you can see I've got 3, 7, then 10 showing in here. And I'm going to show you it a bit later in an actual Excel app when I demo on my iPad. So you can actually add additional sheets as well. I'm going to show you how to do that. And those sheets can actually refer to your initial worksheet. So you can cross-reference cells from your first worksheet. So I'm just going to use this AOA2 sheet once again. You can use JSON or any other type of option that there is. And I'm going to link the um, documentation in the description below. And what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to do the same table, but everything's going to be times two. Cool, so now I'm going to add my next row. So once again, the type is number, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the formula once again, and I'm going to refer to that first sheet. So I can refer to it by name, and then use the exclamation mark, and then specify the cell that I'm interested in. And then I'm just timesing by two. I can do the same thing for B2. And then I can just sum that total once again. I'm going to remove that um, value. I don't want to provide that default value. I'm going to show you it in Excel in a minute anyway. And I'm just going to do the same thing for the third and fourth row. Once you've got that worksheet sorted, you're going to want to add that to your workbook. So you're going to pass in your workbook, you're going to pass in your worksheet, you're going to pass in a different name ideally, but if you 
use a, the same name because I'm going to be setting that second that last value to true. It would resolve correctly and just rename it, but it will just be a bit possibly confusing to you. And now if I go back to my Expo app and save, I can go ahead and generate my Excel file, save to files, save, and I'm just going to keep both so you can compare if you wanted to compare. And then I've got my final workbook here, which has got two sheets. You can't really zoom in on as easily, like if I click on it, it's not going to zoom in. It's my experience um, just through the simulator. But you can click on the second worksheet, it'll show it. You just can't quite see those. Huh, it's got some values there. Oh, okay. So I can see what I've done wrong here. So when I've actually, you can see I've got the formulas correct. There's nothing wrong there. But there is, is value showing for the second worksheet. So what I've done wrong here is I've actually need to append my worksheet to. I accidentally appended my first worksheet. So now that that's fixed, if I go and save to files, And if I click on that second sheet, it should have nothing in that total value. And it's actually got nothing, no columns at all because I'm using functions for everything and haven't provide values. But if I go ahead and open this on my iPad, I can click on Generate Excel. And I can save to files. And then if I go ahead and open my files, I can see my file, my Excel there. And it's got my first worksheet and you can see that total was 11 for that third column and you can see that my second worksheet has values calculated and that's because excel can evaluate the formulas yeah so if i see that total for that row four it's not 10 like it was on the files app it was 11 because it's calculating correctly and if you look at the formulas you can see those values i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today if you have, please like and subscribe for more content.